Hey guys, Osa here. Welcome back to my channel. So I saw this viral video of this teacher taking, oh, having the students take down his hair. And when I say people were like, you know, coming for him and I was like, wow, okay. There was, they were really like making a lot of, um, assumptions just from this particular video when i saw the video did i think it was inappropriate yes i did think it was inappropriate but i don't think it warranted him losing his job i don't know all the the ins and outs of the case however um you know they could have done an investigation and, and found him to be inappropriate in other areas but from this particular video i did not think it was a sexualized thing um i agree with a lot of the the commenters who were just saying every girl in high school was like a co cosmetologist in the making right so um you know like i said i think it was inappropriate i think he should have he definitely um because he's young i can just see he just did not set boundaries early on and just you know i'm in this profession for 17 18 years now and you know, when I first started, I didn't know about setting boundaries either. You know, you're young, you're, you're, you want to relate to the kids as much as possible. You want to be cool, all these things. The only difference is my mistakes are just not on the internet, right? No one would have known about any of this had he not posted it. And I'm not, you know, they, they live in a posting like generation. So I'm not saying that you shouldn't post the good things that you do inside of your classroom, but it needs to be professional and it needs to be appropriate. So you have to be able to use good judgment when you are posting things. Personally, I don't post anybody's kids on my social media. I don't post anything about work on my social media because um, I don't want to be in that funny spot where it's um, that I'm like kind of, you know, walking a thin line on the social media clause that I did sign for my school. I don't know that, you know, I don't know if his school actually has a social media clause. You know they clearly fired him so they saw something that was um, wrong with what he did um yeah so i just i feel terrible about the situation because i do think you know um i want to believe that most teachers go into this because they love children they love kids and they want to have an impact on the youth's lives so i i'm biased and i automatically want to assume the good um, in a person, um, because I am also a teacher. So, um, so yeah, so I, I, like I said, the only difference is a lot of the mistakes that I made when I was first starting out, it's just not on the internet. And I think we live in a very, uh, you know, a, a society that wants to be liked, gets, you know, thousand likes, gets, you know, goes viral, all those things, you know, and, and they're also making money from the content that they're posting. So you have to, there's an incentive for them to post these type of things that's going to get a lot of engagement, going to get a lot of reaction because then they make money from it, right? So I don't think he thought this all the way through. Um, like I said, there was nothing that I saw in the video that looked creepy or, you know, like sexualized or anything like that. It, it I just did not see that. Um, but I get the standpoint from fathers who was like, I would never allow my daughter to, to be taking out a grown man's hair. I do understand that perspective, you know? Um, so I'm not here to, you know, say he was right, he was wrong. I'm just here to say that as teachers, we need to set, set boundaries for our students and we need to be professional at work. Um, and, you know, because he's, you know black you need to make sure you're doing everything by the book <laughs> you know so um so I'm, I'm saying that if you know you know um you know so I, I i feel for him i hope that he can find another job in this profession and then just move forward with knowing that okay i though i though he doesn't see anything wrong with it he has to understand that um the outside perception sees something wrong with it and he has to move accordingly okay if he wants to be in this profession um yeah so i i just wanted to kind of share my two my my two cents about that i i hope that any new teacher that's starting out like i said we are in a posting generation and this is kind of how they they um relate to their students and the and the youth um for us old school teachers we see things very um differently i would just not post my kids i don't want to you know run into any issues with parents feeling feeling a way about what i post 
and and I also don't want um, the outside collective like in my business telling me what I did wrong or you know you know of how I'm running my class I just I don't want all those it's a it's a lot I don't want all those voices in um, my day-to-day -day life you know like I am a youtuber I make hair videos but that's really the extent of what I gen genuinely post or I talk about myself I talk about you know like like life as a you know single mother all those things um so yeah so I I again I feel for this young man I hope that he can find another job and I just hope and pray that he can learn to set some boundaries um you know just going forward so I hope everyone is doing well and I will catch you guys in my next video bye-bye